In this tutorial, I will show you how to configure the optional Send Us Feedback menu in your app settings. This feature allows your logged in members to submit feedback about their experience using the app. These feedback reports are then emailed to you. Before I demo the feature, let's go into the WordPress admin so I can show you how to configure it. Here I am in the WordPress admin at BuddyBoss app settings feedback, and we can check this box here to enable the send us feedback menu in our app, which as you can see, I've already enabled for this app. For the feedback email, you would enter the email address that you want the feedback reports to be emailed to. And then here for email subject, you would enter the subject line that you would like to be used in all of the feedback emails. By default, it will be structured as your website's name, and then this text, send us feedback. You can give it any subject that will make it easy for you to sort through these emails. And then we can come down here and click on save changes. You'll notice that we have another feature here called report a bug, which adds a similar menu in the app for reporting bugs. It's up to you if you want to enable both of these menus. The idea is that users are reporting a different kind of feedback while reporting a bug versus just giving general feedback. And internally, you may want to forward these emails to different people or teams within your organization. Now let's go back to the app so I can submit a feedback report and then we'll go check on what that email looks like. Here I am in the send us feedback screen. If viewing the screen on our public demo, you will also see an email field. We use this field to collect your email when you submit feedback within our demo. But in your actual app, every logged in user has a real email associated with their account. So we are able to automatically include their email with the submission. This email is useful to you as the site owner if you want to follow up with them later about their feedback. All right, so let's add some positive feedback. And I can also upload an image to attach to the feedback. Let's select this app screenshot that I took before. And then we'll click send. And we can see the feedback was submitted. Now let's go view the email. So here I am as the site owner, looking at the feedback email that was just sent to me. We can see the message, this app is awesome. And we can see that our photo was attached. And then we also see some device details here to help us understand the context of the feedback. First is the app ID. This is the ID of the app that is connected to the website. We have platform, so this was reported on an iOS device. This is the version of the app that it was reported in. This is the version of iOS that was running on the device. The device model was an iPhone XS, and this is the email of the logged in user who submitted the feedback. And that's it. We hope you find this feature useful as you launch your own BuddyBoss app and as you gather valuable feedback from your own users.